I'm going to show you how to automatically add static routes to device routing tables using Windows DHCP. So to start, I'm on the server that's hosting my DHCP role, and I'm going to open up the DHCP management console. In here, I'm going to navigate to my scope, and then within the scope, come to scope options. I can then right click and press configure options, and then if I scroll right the way down to the bottom, we've got option 121, which is classless static routes. We can then select that option, and now it's going to give us the ability to add in static routes. We can then select add route, and now we can specify our route. So what I want to do is route all traffic to 192.168.10.0, and I want that to be a 24-bit subnet, so we'll give it 255.255.250. So any request that comes through to any of the 254 IP addresses on the 192.168.10 range, I wanted to direct that traffic through the router with the IP address of 10.0.0.50. So I can then select OK, and then apply, and that will add our static route. Now any device that gets a DHCP address from this server will get this static route added to their routing table. We don't just have to do entire subnets, we can do single IP addresses. So for example, if I wanted to route 10.100.100.50, I can give it a 32-bit subnet mask, so it only selects this one IP address. And then if I want to get to that and I have to route it through a route which is on 10.0.0.55, I can do that and then apply and OK. Now these routes will be given to any device that gets a lease from this DHCP server. So to test this, if I come over to a device that is getting an IP address from that DHCP server, I can then open up a command prompt. And then within here, we can do an IP config slash all, and I can see my DHCP server is that server. So to actually check that this is being added, we can do root print, and this will list our routing table. Now in the active routes, we can see that those two routes that we added are not here yet, and that is because this server has yet to check in again to refresh its DHCP. So to do that, so what we can do is IP config slash release, and that will release its current IP address. And then we can do IP config slash renew, it will then check back in to the DHCP server and then refresh all of its options. So now, if I do root print, we can see that we've got two additional active routes. This one to this single IP address that I done, and then this one to the entire 192.168.10 subnet. So that's how we can use DHCP to automatically add static routes to network devices.